Those days, sorry, mothers. I don't know about these days, mothers. Those days, our mothers, old school mothers, hmm? no housemates, no wash machine, no microwave, no gas. Eh? But they somehow seem to evolve the natural efficacy or efficiency of managing whatever was possible. Under those circumstances, they raised multiple children, seven, eight, relatively better. But today, slave mothers, social media mothers, you have three children, four mates, washing machine, everything is there. Yet, to raise the children properly is a problem. You have more, but seem to be doing less. You are diminishing the value of motherhood. Why? We are the generation with much. I have said it before. We are the generation with much, but seem to be diminishing in influence and value. No generation has had it better than this generation, but we seem to be accomplishing little. And we are still looking for more. What the apostles were literally asking the Lord, give us more. And Jesus is like, what the heck? Sorry, I don't know what other language is even right in church. Say little. People with faith, little. They can do more. Take mathematics, for instance. Our generation has calculators. We even have uh, scientific uh, calculators and so many other things. But we had generations before who never even had a simple calculator. But they could do arithmetic better than us. Let me ask you, but what is happening? What is happening? What exactly is happening? What is happening? Those of us from Southeast, how much are our governors accomplishing with what they have? Let me single out my state, Imo State. During the time of De Sambakwe, when Imo State had very meager allocation, I'm told that even the up to now, the plan that they are still struggling to execute is the plan that the man drew Mbebo up to that time. They built Imo Airport without federal allocation. What have our governors since 1999? Go and check what they have earned from 1999 till now, compared to what people like Sam Bakwe had and see. You will know that we have end time politicians. Now, ask yourself, what have our governors been doing with everything they have? Yes, of course, some people will say population has increased. Which population has increased? But you've got, Imo said it's not just receiving um, federal allocation. Imo said it's also receiving money from oil because Imo said it's among the NDDC, Abi. That means there's also extra money coming from oil. Why are we not seeing industries? Why are we not seeing the kind of infrastructures we are seeing beauty? As you are in Imo State, they are doing what? Paying it to Abuja. They are not paying it to Abuja. Abuja is the one paying to Imo State. Oh, they are giving their people, our governors. Mm -hmm. Oh, for them to sustain them. What a terrible governor you have. Much and nothing to show for it. Much and nothing to show for it. And that's the parable of Nigeria, actually. Not just Imo State. Most other places. They are looking for more. More. So Jesus is saying... Faith is powerful enough. It's powerful enough. If you have the faith mentality, you are, uh, you are not a diminisher. Okay? You are an increaser. You bring value. You, you accomplish much. The value of a wife increases in your hand. The value of a husband. The Bible even says it. It says, happy the man who has married a good wife. He says his death shall be what? Doubled. So a good wife multiplies the length of the years of, his, of her husband. Uh -huh. But if you're a bad woman, your husband is destined to live for 80, 80 years. He will die at 50. Somebody say, God forbid. <laughs> Same thing, vice versa. Increase. So faith is powerful. It's powerful because it's our life, living faith. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.